Watchdogs Legion's Future London is full of people to meet, investigate and recruit into your growing army of hacktivists. But, like the real London, some of its citizens are stranger than others. And when you can recruit pretty much anyone you meet on the street, it just makes sense to fill your team with the oddest folk you can find. That's exactly what we set out to do, and here's seven of the weirdest people we recruited in Watchdogs Legion. Welcome to DeadSec. Bigger, stronger, badder than ever. When designing the best new toys for children, it's helpful to have a gust of inspiration. Unfortunately for Noah Baker, that gust often comes in the form of methane from his bum. Yes, Noah has the flatulent trait, which means he randomly farts rather loudly. You hear that? Fighting a private military company often requires a delicate approach, better known as stealth. Let rip in the wrong area though, and you may find yourself busted by the enemy. You hear that? Maybe next time hold it in, pal? Or at least get yourself some charcoal tablets. Look, when the city's locked down by the fash, you've got to keep yourself in shape if you're going to be any use to the resistance. That's where our lad Fred Regent comes in. By day, he makes prosthetics. By night, he's a pole dancer. A pole dancer so good, he won a regional competition. No doubt his core is so strong that he could absorb an Albion bullet and spit it out his belly button. And he's definitely got the moves. Check him out making this lamppost feel increasingly uncomfortable. Just dazzling. If you're from the UK, you'll know that the only people who actually wear the Union Jack are drunk blokes on stag nights and nostalgic patriots. I'm not sure if Maxwell Vaswani here is getting ready for a big night of cheeky Nandos and spoons in Soho, or attending a meeting on the benefits of a sovereign nation, but he definitely loves the flag. Maxwell is also well into non-verbal rhythmic singing, aka beatboxing. I'm not sure if the middle-class people of Covent Garden are all that into his skills though. Perhaps try a bit of Ed Sheeran next time, mate? During the mid-2000s, everyone in Britain was obsessed with Derren Brown, a stage magician and hypnotist. Ed Silver is the perfect example of the kind of person who was so obsessed that they learned how to hypnotise people themselves, probably in an ill-advised attempt to settle a grudge or make someone fall in love with them. They all want to kill you. Beyond those somewhat disturbing potential outcomes, hypnotism is also a helpful trait in the fight against oppression. Using his watch, Ed is able to convince people to hurt their fellow Londoners. Now it's just a case of suggesting that these people attack Albion instead of each other, and DedSec may be onto something. Everyone loves pets. I've got two cats who are perfectly lovable and enjoy ear scratches and tummy rubs. Office manager Amnart Lek, on the other hand, collects venomous insects as pets. I don't know if you're aware, but things like blister beetles and fire ants don't make ideal house companions. That's almost certainly why Amnot has the doomed trait, which means that he can spontaneously die at any time. I bet he's got an Asian giant hornet in his pocket, the imbecile. To save us from his idiocy, the doomed trait kicked in before Amnot could even walk away from the road that he was recruited on. Is 45 seconds a record low for a DedSec member's career? Nora Juma may be getting on a bit, but she still knows how to work it. Work what, you may ask? Well, check out that jacket. Nora's a leather mummy, a commanding force. Yes, she's a dominatrix. Naturally, to ensure you properly dominate, it's important to keep your sub in line, and that's where Nora's studded truncheon comes in handy. She's not afraid to beat you a few times with it. And, well, if you're really naughty, I'm sure she'll find a new storage spot for it too. As this video has already demonstrated, Watch Dogs Legion is all about recruiting people. But what if completing missions for everyone you want to join DedSec is taking just too long? What if you just need some chaps to cause havoc for a minute or two? That's where our boy Aaron Nassar comes in. This lad is a true anarchist, and with his megaphone he can get four disgruntled nearby Londoners to temporarily raise hell with him. His new short-term hires will pick on anyone who doesn't support DedSec's message, such as this Albion thug. There's nothing better than multiple strong right hooks to put a PMC troop in their place. And those are some of our favourite people that we found in the world of Watch Dogs Legion. For more from London and Watch Dogs, why not check out these other videos and stick with IGN.